Did you know that studies suggest as many as one in five adults struggle with porn addiction? This pervasive issue affects not only your mental health, but also your relationships, career, and overall quality of life. If you want to break free from the chains of this addiction and reclaim your true self, you need to understand the complexities of this struggle. In this video, we'll delve deep into the reality of porn addiction, exploring the philosophies and techniques that can guide you towards self-mastery. Don't believe the myth that addiction is a sign of weakness. It's a complex interplay of desire, environment, and personal history. Together, we'll dismantle these misconceptions and empower you with the tools to overcome them. By the end of this journey, you'll not only recognize the impact of porn addiction, but also discover a renewed sense of purpose and fulfillment beyond fleeting pleasures. So, let's get started. Number 1. The Reality of Porn Addiction Imagine for a moment the sense of limitless freedom that comes with living in the digital age. We have access to boundless information, vibrant communities, and opportunities for growth right at our fingertips. This level of connectivity is remarkable. We're part of a world where anything we want to learn, see, or experience is just a few clicks away. Yet, with this power comes a challenge, a temptation that has silently invaded countless lives, the pervasive presence of pornographic content. It's everywhere, effortlessly accessible, and in moments of solitude or boredom, it often calls out louder than we might like to admit. It can seem harmless, even just a normal part of modern life. But here's the reality. It's a habit that millions are struggling to break, a habit that can quietly shape behaviors, thoughts, and relationships in ways we may not fully recognize at first. Understanding porn addiction isn't about judgment. It's about confronting something that has found a way into the hearts and minds of people from all walks of life. Many who initially enjoyed the thrill now find themselves unable to control their consumption, trapped in a cycle they didn't expect. This script isn't here to shame anyone, but to shine a light on how we can use the timeless philosophy of Stoicism to regain control and find peace. Stoicism, a philosophy that's seen its teachings resonate for over two millennia, offers powerful tools to understand ourselves and manage the strong impulses that fuel addiction. Looking back, there's a simplicity we might all recall a time when human connection was purely face-to-face, -face, not mediated through screens, and when pleasure didn't come from endless scrolling. Life was grounded in shared moments, real conversations, and true connections. Now, we're faced with the challenge of recreating that simplicity and reclaiming control. The question now becomes, how can we use this ancient philosophy to manage a very modern problem? Let's explore the journey of regaining mastery over our minds and behaviors through Stoic principles. Number two, Stoic philosophy, a path to self-mastery. Now, imagine living a life where nothing outside your mind has the power to disturb your peace. You can face life's many ups and downs with an inner calm that comes from knowing you control how you react. This is the ideal of Stoicism, a philosophy that empowers individuals to lead disciplined, meaningful lives rooted in virtue and self-mastery. Created in ancient Greece by Zeno of Citium, Stoicism grew through the teachings of renowned philosophers like Seneca, Epictetus, and Marcus Aurelius, and its principles remain incredibly relevant. These teachings don't just tell us to avoid excess or practice moderation, they invite us to explore who we truly are, challenging us to pursue a life aligned with virtue, free from dependence on fleeting pleasures. In a world where we're constantly tempted by instant gratification, Stoicism encourages us to pursue lasting fulfillment. Imagine if our satisfaction didn't hinge on whether we could watch or experience something right now. 
but rather on how well we live, the values we uphold, and the strength of our character. The Stoics emphasized four core virtues, wisdom, justice, courage, and temperance, all of which offer a roadmap to living a truly fulfilled life. Each of these virtues serves as a protective shield against life's temptations, helping us to resist the lure of quick fixes and focus instead on what truly matters. There's something comforting about thinking back to simpler times when the distractions of today didn't yet exist. Life wasn't perfect, but perhaps it was less complicated. Fewer distractions, fewer external pressures pulling at our attention and desire. The ancient Stoics, despite living centuries ago, faced their own forms of temptation and desires. They knew that real strength comes from within, not from chasing endless sources of pleasure. This philosophy has endured because it taps into something deeply human, the desire for control, for peace, for a life that's fully lived rather than passively consumed. Now, in today's age, we stand at a fascinating crossroad. How can this age-old philosophy provide a practical guide for overcoming modern challenges, especially an addiction as all-consuming as pornography? The curiosity only grows as we begin to see Stoicism not as an abstract philosophy, but as a tool we can use daily to reclaim control over our lives. Number 3. Recognizing and Acknowledging the Addiction At first, there might be a reluctance to admit the reality of addiction. It's just something I enjoy occasionally, we tell ourselves, or I can stop whenever I want. But the truth, once we dig a little deeper, is often different. Recognizing addiction means taking an honest, unfiltered look at our habits and asking ourselves if we're in control or if something else is. There's a kind of happiness in this honesty, a lightness that comes from acknowledging something that's been weighing on us. We're no longer hiding or pretending instead, we're brave enough to face the reality of our own choices. Understanding addiction, especially one rooted in such a personal habit, is challenging. Many find themselves caught in a loop, chasing that fleeting dopamine rush, only to be left feeling empty and often filled with guilt. This cycle can quickly become overwhelming, where the pull of addiction takes precedence over real connections, goals, and even self-respect. But here's where Stoicism steps in with a powerful tool, the ability to differentiate between what's in our control and what isn't. Stoic philosophy teaches us that while we can't always control our initial desires or impulses, we can control our responses to them. Epictetus, a famed Stoic philosopher, reminded us that it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. And so, by recognizing that porn addiction is a response we've allowed to dominate our lives, we can begin to see a way out. Nostalgia can play a powerful role here, reminding us of times when our lives weren't impacted by this habit. Think back to a time before this dependency developed, a time when happiness came from simpler, more genuine pleasures, from real-life interactions, or from achieving something meaningful. In those moments there was a sense of clarity, a feeling of purpose that doesn't come from quick fixes, but from a deeper sense of fulfillment. The craving for connection, the joy of personal growth, and the satisfaction of achieving something worthwhile are all natural parts of the human experience. Stoicism invites us to remember this and reconnect with those memories to understand what we've lost and what we stand to gain by moving forward. Now, as we step back and look at our lives from this new perspective, Curiosity begins to take root. What if there's a different way to live? What if the freedom we're seeking isn't found in another fleeting experience, but in the discipline and strength to let go of it entirely? This isn't just about overcoming an addiction, it's about transforming our lives. Could Stoicism be the path to regaining control, 
to building a life defined by purpose rather than by compulsion. The journey promises not only freedom, but a deeper connection to ourselves and the world around us. A life of real, lasting fulfillment. Number four, differentiating between control and desire. Imagine standing in a bustling market filled with every type of item you could desire, delicious foods, luxurious items, and distractions of all kinds. You're free to walk past and pick up anything. But here's the catch. At some point, indulging in too many of these temptations might start controlling you, making the choice feel less like freedom and more like a habit or compulsion. This is where the Stoic mindset teaches us one of its most valuable distinctions, understanding the difference between control and desire. Our lives are shaped by countless decisions. Some choices stem from what we deeply value, while others arise from immediate cravings, like the allure of seeking instant pleasures. Stoicism encourages us to bring clarity to this contrast, enabling us to recognize that genuine freedom lies not in satisfying every fleeting whim, but in discerning which desires truly align with our highest values. As viewers, you might feel a sense of familiarity with this idea. How often do you find yourself caught between the pull of momentary desire and the deeper fulfillment you genuinely seek? To explain this core idea, let's look back to a time when cravings may have shaped some of our behaviors without us fully noticing it. Nostalgia may arise as we think about simpler moments in life before certain habits or distractions, like porn addiction, started taking a hold on us. We may remember a younger self, with aspirations that felt pure, untouched by outside pressures. What did that version of us really want? Number 5. The harmful effects of porn addiction. Imagine you've just completed a challenging day, and the thought of unwinding with something simple and mind-numbing seems appealing. For many, turning to online content is an easy escape, a quick relief from daily stresses. But for others, especially those drawn into the grip of porn addiction, this form of relaxation can spiral into something damaging, impacting not only their day, but their whole sense of self. It's the quiet undertow of addiction that often starts with innocent intentions but can take control in subtle, devastating ways. For anyone watching, this might sound familiar or even relatable, stirring an emotion of happiness and comfort around a simple habit before the core reality begins to unfold. Now, let's dig deeper and unpack why porn addiction isn't just a harmless escape, but one that can have harmful effects on mental, physical and emotional well-being. The effects of addiction can seem hidden, even non-existent, especially in the beginning stages. But over time, individuals who find themselves consistently turning to porn often report feelings of shame, guilt and a growing disconnect from reality. The initial sense of pleasure and ease is replaced by a loss of control, affecting relationships, career aspirations and mental clarity. Unlike some other dependencies, Porn addiction influences the mind's most powerful motivators, connection, intimacy and desire, turning them into sources of anxiety rather than joy. This realization might invoke nostalgia, a time in the past when desires and intimate experiences felt natural and genuinely fulfilling, untainted by compulsive behavior. Think back to a time when simple connections, shared moments and small intimacies were enough to bring happiness. That sense of ease and innocence can feel distant in the presence of addiction, replaced by isolation and an insatiable craving that doesn't fulfill but instead creates a void. Nostalgia is bittersweet here as it reminds us of what was lost to addiction's grip, shedding light on the depths of its effects. Curiosity brings us to wonder, what would it look like to break free from these effects? To reclaim that sense of innocence and genuine connection? 
Is there a path back to a life where one's own desires are no longer tied to harmful habits, but instead lead to true fulfillment? As we continue, these questions guide us toward understanding the techniques, virtues and mindset shifts necessary to overcome addiction and rediscover purpose beyond temporary pleasures. Number 6. Techniques for Mastering Desires As we embark on this journey toward mastering desires, let's take a moment to acknowledge the inherent joy in recognizing that we have the power to change our habits. Imagine waking up one day and feeling lighter, as if a weight has been lifted from your shoulders. The sun shines a bit brighter and your mind is clearer, no longer clouded by the compulsions that once dominated your thoughts. This uplifting image encapsulates the power of choice. Yet the path to this liberation requires commitment and the development of effective techniques to master desires that can lead to addiction. The first step in mastering desires is awareness. Awareness isn't merely about acknowledging the existence of a desire, it involves digging deep to understand the triggers that lead to those urges. When do you find yourself reaching for that escape? Is it during moments of boredom, stress or loneliness? By identifying the emotional and situational triggers, you gain a foothold to combat the impulse before it spirals into addiction. Think of those moments as crossroads, choices await at every turn. As you cultivate this awareness, the exhilaration of potential change fills your spirit. You may feel a sense of happiness when you realize that you are in control, empowered to shape your responses. Now, let's transition into the core content. This self-awareness can be complemented by practical techniques, such as the 10-minute rule. When you feel an urge rising, instead of immediately giving in, commit to waiting for 10 minutes. Use this time to engage in an alternative activity, whether it's taking a walk, reading, or practicing deep breathing exercises. This technique allows your initial impulse to subside, providing clarity and opening your mind to other fulfilling options. You may find it nostalgic to remember simpler days when instant gratification was less common and waiting felt more natural, like savoring a favorite dessert rather than rushing through a meal. Those moments filled with anticipation and joy remind us of what we truly desire, meaningful experiences. As curiosity continues to build, think about how mastering desires can transform your life what would it look like to replace fleeting pleasures with lasting fulfillment? By practicing mindfulness, you can better connect with your emotions. Meditation and reflective journaling can also help create a space where you process your thoughts and feelings without judgment. Number 7. Cultivating Core Virtues Wisdom, Justice, Courage and Temperance As we delve into the significance of cultivating core virtues, wisdom, justice, courage and temperance, we invite a sense of joy and possibility into our lives. Picture a life where these virtues are not just concepts, but integral parts of your daily existence, guiding your decisions and actions. It's a powerful image where the weight of addiction lifts and you step into a realm where self-respect, integrity and balance reign supreme. Happiness radiates from within as you realize that these virtues can serve as your compass, leading you toward a life rich in meaning and purpose. To truly master your desires, you must first cultivate wisdom. Wisdom isn't just knowledge, it's the understanding that comes from life experiences and learning from mistakes. It involves recognizing that true fulfillment cannot be found in momentary pleasures. Instead, it lies in making choices aligned with your values and long-term goals. Imagine a time when you faced a tough decision. Perhaps you chose to pursue a healthier lifestyle over indulging in immediate gratification. That choice, rooted in wisdom, brought you lasting satisfaction and happiness. Nostalgia floods your mind as you reflect on that empowering moment, a reminder of your capability to choose wisely. Next. 
we explore the virtue of justice. Justice is about fairness and equity, but it also involves being just to yourself. It means treating yourself with kindness, recognizing your worth, and standing up against harmful behaviors, such as addiction. Justice urges you to hold yourself accountable, acknowledging your struggles without judgment. In this light, you may remember instances when you advocated for fairness, not only for others, but also for yourself. Those moments where you put your needs first, evoke nostalgia, and highlight the importance of self-compassion on your journey to recovery. Courage is the next virtue we'll cultivate. The path to mastering desires and overcoming addiction requires immense courage. It means facing your fears head-on, acknowledging your vulnerabilities, and taking decisive action. Recall a time when you stepped out of your comfort zone. Perhaps you confronted a fear, sought help, or made a significant life change. In that moment, you discovered your inner strength. Embracing courage will fill you with happiness as you realize your ability to transform your life, even when faced with adversity. Finally, temperance teaches us the art of moderation. In a world of extremes, temperance encourages balance. It reminds you that it's okay to enjoy pleasures, but they should never control you. Reflecting on past experiences, you might recall joyful moments spent with loved ones, where the focus was on connection rather than indulgence. These memories stir a sense of nostalgia, prompting you to consider how you can recreate those experiences without succumbing to addiction. Temperance will lead you toward a more fulfilling life, where desires are acknowledged but managed with grace and responsibility. As we weave these core virtues into the fabric of our lives, curiosity flourishes. How can wisdom guide you in navigating future temptations? What new insights about yourself can you uncover through practicing justice, courage, and temperance? Each virtue offers a unique lens through which to view your journey. Embracing these principles will illuminate the path towards self-mastery, providing you with the tools to navigate desires with purpose and intention. Number eight, practicing detachment from destructive cravings. Detachment from destructive cravings may initially seem daunting, yet it is a profound skill that opens up the possibility of freedom and empowerment. Imagine standing on the edge of a vast ocean with waves crashing around you. The temptation to dive in is overwhelming, yet you recognize the strength within you to stand firm, observing the water without succumbing to its pull. This image encapsulates the journey of detachment, an opportunity to cultivate inner peace while remaining aware of external pressures and cravings. To begin this journey, consider the importance of mindfulness. Mindfulness practices, such as meditation and focused breathing, allow you to become aware of your cravings without judgment. When a craving arises, instead of reacting impulsively, take a moment to breathe deeply and observe the sensation. Where do you feel it in your body? What thoughts accompany it? By acknowledging cravings in this way, you create space for curiosity and self-exploration. Happiness blooms as you realize that cravings do not define you. They are simply transient experiences that can be observed and released. As you delve deeper into this practice, Nostalgia may arise, reminding you of simpler times when life felt less complicated. Think back to moments when you savored a beautiful sunset or engaged in a conversation that sparked joy. Those experiences were pure, untainted by the compulsions of addiction. In cultivating detachment, you can reclaim those feelings of joy and presence, rediscovering the richness of life beyond temporary pleasures. The power of self-compassion also plays a vital role in practicing detachment. Be gentle with yourself when cravings arise. Instead of chastising yourself for feeling tempted, remind yourself that it's part of the human experience. Allowing space for self-compassion fosters a sense of acceptance, which, in turn, 
empowers you to make choices aligned with your true desires. What if you treated yourself as you would a close friend, offering kindness and understanding during moments of struggle? This shift in perspective can create an environment where curiosity flourishes. What new paths might you explore when you approach cravings with compassion rather than judgment? In addition to mindfulness and self-compassion, creating a proactive plan to address cravings can further support your journey toward detachment. Identify healthy alternatives to replace old habits. For instance, if you find yourself reaching for porn during moments of boredom, explore engaging hobbies that ignite your passion, such as painting, writing or exercising. These alternatives not only divert your attention, but also provide a sense of fulfillment and accomplishment. As you engage in these activities, happiness seeps into your life, reminding you that there are abundant ways to experience pleasure without reverting to harmful patterns. Moreover, the process of detaching from destructive cravings invites curiosity about your true desires. What activities ignite your passion? What dreams have you sidelined in favor of fleeting pleasures? By reflecting on these questions, you can shift your focus from cravings to pursuits that truly matter to you. Imagine the thrill of rediscovering hobbies, interests and passions that resonate with your core self. This shift from momentary satisfaction to genuine fulfillment transforms your relationship with desire. Number 9. Building Resilience Against Setbacks In the journey to master desires and overcome porn addiction, setbacks are not just possible. They are an inevitable part of growth. It's easy to feel discouraged when faced with obstacles, but imagine a phoenix rising from the ashes, embodying resilience and strength. This powerful image serves as a reminder that setbacks can be the catalyst for transformation, urging you to embrace challenges as opportunities for growth and renewal. Building resilience starts with adopting a positive mindset. Happiness can be found in reframing setbacks as learning experiences rather than failures. When you encounter a challenge, whether it's succumbing to a craving or experiencing a moment of weakness, reflect on what you can learn from that experience. Perhaps you recognize a pattern in your behavior or identify a specific trigger that you hadn't considered before. This mindset shift transforms the narrative from one of shame to one of curiosity. Nostalgia may also play a role in building resilience. Recall moments in your life when you faced difficulties and emerged stronger. Maybe you encountered a significant challenge, whether in your personal life, relationships or career. Think about how those experiences shaped you, providing valuable lessons and insights. As you reflect on those memories, you may feel a surge of determination and courage, inspiring you to tackle your current challenges head on. Curiosity drives you to explore the concept of resilience further. What strategies can you implement to fortify yourself against setbacks? One effective technique is to develop a supportive network of friends, family or support groups. Surrounding yourself with individuals who understand your journey can provide encouragement, accountability and shared experiences. Their presence serves as a reminder that you are not alone and together you can navigate the ups and downs of recovery. Another strategy for building resilience is the practice of self-care. Nurturing your physical, emotional and mental well-being is crucial when facing challenges. Engage in activities that bring you joy and fulfillment, whether it's exercise, meditation, creative expression or spending quality time with loved ones. These practices create a foundation of strength that enables you to face setbacks with greater fortitude. As you prioritize self-care, a sense of happiness permeates your life, reminding you that taking care of yourself is not a luxury but a necessity. Moreover, setting realistic goals is essential for building resilience. 
Instead of striving for perfection or expecting immediate results, focus on small, achievable steps. Celebrate your progress, no matter how minor it may seem. Each step forward is a victory worth acknowledging. This practice fosters a sense of accomplishment, reinforcing your belief in your ability to overcome challenges. As curiosity continues to guide you, consider exploring the notion of adaptability. Resilience isn't just about bouncing back, it's also about learning to adapt and grow in response to setbacks. What new perspectives can you gain from your experiences? How can you use challenges to refine your goals and aspirations? Embracing adaptability will empower you to approach setbacks with an open mind, seeing them as stepping stones rather than roadblocks. Number 10. Rediscovering Purpose Beyond temporary pleasures, imagine standing at a crossroads where one path leads to momentary satisfaction while the other beckons with the promise of profound purpose and fulfillment. As you contemplate this choice, a sense of excitement and curiosity stirs within you. The allure of temporary pleasures may be tempting, but the prospect of discovering a deeper meaning in life is truly exhilarating. Rediscovering purpose beyond temporary pleasures opens the door to a life brimming with authenticity, connection and joy. To embark on this journey of rediscovery, it's essential to reflect on what genuinely matters to you. What are your core values? What passions ignite your spirit? Picture the joy that arises when you engage in activities aligned with your true self, whether it's pursuing a long-held dream, volunteering, or nurturing relationships with loved ones. Happiness flourishes when you invest your time and energy in endeavors that resonate with your values. Nostalgia plays a vital role in this exploration. Recall moments when you felt a deep sense of purpose and fulfillment, perhaps during a meaningful conversation, a creative endeavor, or a moment of service to others. Those memories serve as guideposts, illuminating the path back to a life rich in purpose. As you reflect, consider how you can recreate those experiences in the present. What steps can you take to reignite that spark of passion? Curiosity encourages you to explore new interests and opportunities. What activities have you always wanted to try but haven't yet pursued? Is there a skill you've been eager to develop? This exploration allows you to break free from the confines of addiction, inviting you to expand your horizons and embrace the unknown. As you venture into new territories, the thrill of discovery invigorates your spirit, reminding you that life is full of possibilities waiting to be uncovered. Additionally, engaging with your community can enhance your sense of purpose. Consider volunteering or participating in local initiatives that align with your values. Contributing to something larger than yourself fosters a profound sense of connection and fulfillment. It's a reminder that your actions can make a difference in the lives of others, reinforcing the belief that true happiness is found in shared experiences and meaningful contributions. If you've made it this far, drop a hundred in the comments. This shows you're among the rare few who are ready to take action and transform your life. Remember, breaking free from addiction isn't just about resisting temptation, it's about reclaiming your power and purpose. Every small step you take today builds a brighter tomorrow. If you're truly committed to this journey of self-improvement, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our community. Together, we can share insights, support one another, and thrive on the path to lasting change. Let's rise above our challenges and create a life filled with meaning and fulfillment.